Hey everybody, it's Rob the Backyard Gardener, and I know a lot of you have been asking, Rob, what's going on with those kiwis that you started from seed, and how are they doing? Well, let's take a look. So I figured I'll kick it off with these six that I put down here in kind of my little kiwi farm, if you will. You recall that I put these guys down here because I just needed a spot in my yard to see if I had any male or female kiwi plants because as you know, you need at least one of each gender in order to get fruit. That being said, there's six plants here. I have a total of 10. Let me see if I can get out of the wind a little bit, but I've got one plant here that actually split. You can see that since the freeze, they've broken their buds once again. Always beautiful to see. Kiwi vines are so beautiful. They have some rune tones, some deep greens. They're covered with this little fur, if you will. I love the way they look. So we've got one big one back here, which is that one. We've got a second one right here, which is this one. And we've got a third one that's split into two. It's right here. I chopped these guys down by several feet. You'll recall they were growing up and around my gate here on my fence. And I decided, you know what? It's time to straighten them out a little bit. It's time to get them up pruned heavily and see what we do. So we've got three there. We've got a small one down here. This guy was twisted and turned all around this mesh. So I just chopped them at the best possible spot. We've got another one that's right here. And look at these colors on these guys when they break their buds. They're gorgeous. Just wanted to give you another bird's eye view of all the buds breaking on all the plants. So that you could see how beautiful they are. Very colorful. So we've got another one here. And then finally, we've got one more down here. And I've trimmed him pretty much to a stump because as you know, you do need to keep these guys to a, a straight trunk for about three feet tall, and then you can let them branch left and right. You can go six feet if you want, so that you can have a uh, space to walk under, but I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with these guys yet. We just pruned the heck out of them because I wanted to see if they would produce any flowers this year. We're one month away from three years old. I started these on May 3rd, 2016. So we're just over a month away from being three years old. I've got six here. I've got another one here in my grapevine area. This guy is, I'm gonna probably chop him again at the end of the year, but I wanted to just show you how much this guy has grown. I took several feet off him as well. It's an absolutely stunning plant. Let me see if I can get you a good look at the fur and the, and the colors on these guys. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Probably want to take one of these and grow them inside. They're so good looking. Now this guy is wrapped around this pole a little bit. I probably need to straighten that out. But for now, we're just trying to get this trunk down here as healthy and as thick as possible. You wanna grow these like grapevines. You wanna have one central leader. And then again, you want it to branch off in different directions. And I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with it. I'm new at growing kiwis. Right now, I'm just trying to keep these guys alive and healthy to see if we have a good mix of male and female plants. Very nice. Very happy with how it looks. And then finally, I've got one more in the greenhouse. I'm gonna bring in there and we'll take a look, see how he's doing right now. So here you go. This guy is actually a dual leader as well. I'm probably gonna take off this second bud, but man, I saw that he was actually breaking some buds and I just didn't have the heart to chop anymore. But he's definitely breaking his buds now too. So he's coming back. We'll have to see how this goes. I have this guy set at three feet and I have two side branches. We're gonna work on this guy a little differently and see how he does. But I'm not happy with the double leader. So I'm probably gonna end up chopping this part off. But let, maybe I'll let it grow for a little bit just in case we run into any issues on this. I have two more on the other side. I'm not gonna update them this time because they haven't broke their buds yet, and I need to clean that side of the yard, to be honest with you. But we'll update you guys on that one in about a month when these hit three years. So there you have it once again, everyone. I apologize for the delay on updating you on all my growing from seed plant series and tree series, but I've just been behind, like I promised you in my apple tree series, as well I'm making a promise in this one. We'll get you all updated over the next couple of weeks, and then I'll even give you a garden tour in about a month on what we've got growing this year. 
Hopefully you're still enjoying the Kiwi Trees Grown From Seed series. If you are, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy gardening, and thanks for watching.